The first thing is the Wall Street Journal website that has a great um, section in the website. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's all about the, the financial markets here and you can see the data for the financial market uh, by using the, the quote. So if you go to www.wvsg.com uh, 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 so slash market market data slash quotes, and then you enter the tickle, the ticker symbol, uh, you will get to the financials. So here you can see the uh, income statement, balance sheet, cash flow. So this is an already, you know, um, uh, formatted report okay so it has uh, accounts sales revenue sales or revenue right uh, and also some calculated um, KPIs like sales growth and so on right and it's actually a multi-level hierarchy of those accounts like cost of goods sold that are you know comprised of uh, cost of goods sold excluding DNA and then uh, a separate line item uh, for the depreciation and uh, amortization expense. Um, so in Europe, uh, this would probably uh, go much lower. But uh, we have we have basically we have not changed uh, the structure of the data. So we simply used the same the same structure in the end. Uh, but of course, you can also re reshuffle uh, the accounts. Um, if you want a slightly different uh, you know, sequence of, of accounts in, in your reports and so on. Uh, right, so and then uh, of course gross income, uh, SGNA expenses, uh, EBIT and so on, all down to uh, down to net income and then there are some calculated um, um, KPIs already here on this report, right? What what is the first thing that you need to remember when you're pulling the data in, uh, when you will connect to data like this, the data tables like this, you need to make absolutely sure that you um, import only the um, the so-called additive measures into your Power BI, into your Power BI model right and then calculate the non-additive measures in your data model in power bi what do i mean by that what is a uh, an additive measure and a non-additive measure right so um the sales the revenue this is an additive measure because you can just add the revenue let's say uh, from 20 year 21 to 22 right you can add that and then you have a sum of revenue for both years and you know this is a valid uh valid figure or can sum the month into quarters quarters into into uh, a year and so on okay so uh so these are the base measures right that are additive and those we will actually use so scrape read from the website load into power bi but then things like sales growth right these are non-additive measures, so you cannot just sum up this percentage and this percentage to understand what is like the, you know, cumulative growth across two years or, or, or things like that, right? In order for Power BI to actually calculate correctly uh, things like percentages, uh, indexes, and so on, you need to use DAX formulas for that, so not import those lines, but then recreate the formula in your DEX model. All right, so those are the basics. Um, and uh, yeah, just don't uh, import percentages and try to sum up percentages. It's, uh, yeah, I just have to say that would be a rookie mistake. So uh, yeah, here's a heads up, don't do that. Um, all right, and also some indexes and so on. So basically we need to filter out the basic data and then we'll calculate um, the financial KPIs uh, again in the Power BI model. All right, so this is the website. This is the website. So basically you just copy um, copy the web address, go to Power BI, and you get the data in your Power BI, and you will use the web, all right? Or if you click, just click here. Um, Oh, where is it? I always go there. Uh, it's probably 
uh, it's this the other, yeah. So the web, so you connect, right? So this will be your first first step. And now you'll simply paste your um, um, link into, uh, into the window. Hit OK, right? And then uh, Power BI will parse um, the data presented in this link on this web page and will actually uh, show you the data table okay and then of course you will have to process it with power query filter out some rows and so on um right now we don't have the time to do all that so maybe we'll we'll do another webinar just for web scraping to you know it's it, it gets a little a, a little technical but if you do have questions um yeah we can um, expand on that in the q and a section in the end and uh, yeah we can maybe show you a couple of steps how to do that but basically uh you you go here under get data and choose web that's your starting point 